Hey, welcome to Sales Funnel Tuesdays. I'm your host, Kerry Canole, and thank you so much for tuning in today. So today I want to cover how to connect the conversion API from Facebook or Meta. Meta's CAPI, we call it, or Facebook CAPI, right? C-A-P-I, that's conversion API to ClickFunnels so that you can get data from folks who are using iOS 14 plus updated devices where the pixel doesn't necessarily track um, their actions, right? Their behaviors on your website or your sales funnels, et cetera. So let me step you through how to do that. Quickly, I'm gonna pop on over to Facebook and show you how to get access to turn on the conversion API. And then I'm gonna hop into ClickFunnels and show you how to actually connect it and make it work. So here we are, let's pop in here. So you should be seeing my screen. You should see my basically business settings for my business inside of Facebook or Meta. I hate calling it Meta, but it is what it is. And you can see here in the URL, I'm at business.facebook.com forward slash settings. If you go to there, if you have a business established, you'll land here. You don't necessarily need to land here, but this is the interface that um, is the most robust as far as finding what you need and where you need it. So if we go here and then we click on this hamburger menu at the top, we can click on events manager or we'll just open it another tab to keep it simple. So once you go to Events Manager, this is where you will see all of your data sources and all of your pixels. If you have more than one, you might only have one and that's completely okay if you do. And then you're going to see, let's just look at one of these. Let me see, I think there's a test pixel here. Let's see if it's set up, I don't really know. Let's take a peek at it. What you would do on your pixel is you would come to um, aggregated uh, I'm sorry, no, we would go to settings first. And then we should scroll down and we should see this turn on automatic advanced matching. Make sure that's on, of course. And then we would come on further down here to track events automatically without code. We definitely want to make sure that's turned on. And then after we do that, we see conversion API sent uh, listed here. Set up with conversions API gateway, get started or set up manually, get started. We want to do this manual and what we really are looking for is this link that says generate access token that's highlighted. So we're going to click on that. It's going to end up giving us this long string of characters. We just click in here to copy it to the clipboard. And so now what we need to do is go over to, let's say, ClickFunnels or whatever page builder you may be using um, that has the capability of connecting to the conversion API. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do it with ClickFunnels. So if once you're in ClickFunnels, if you come to your menu, uh, your name or your business name on the top right and you click on account settings, you land here. Once you do that, you come down to integrations, click on integrations. And then once you click on integrations, you're going to click on add new integration. And then from there, you're going to find Facebook, which is right in the middle. Click on it. And then from there, we have integration nickname. So we just give this a nickname. Normally, I'll just call it Facebook Cappy for short. Um, you can give it an account ID if you wanted, if you knew specifically which account it was associated to. You click Connect Integration. It says, warning, I've already connected this integration for Facebook. Um, I can edit if I prefer. So you would click this. It would step you through. Let's see if what happens if I do it. It should take me to Facebook. Hopefully, it'll... Just show me the dialogue like it should. And we could click edit settings and see the permissions. So we can do that and say, this is what you would normally see if you were stepping through it for the first time. What is ClickFunnels integration app allowed to do? ClickFunnels integration app may not work properly if you turn off these options. Manage ads or for ad accounts that you have access to. So we have that enabled. Yes, click done. And then it says you've now linked ClickFunnels integration app to Facebook. Okay, great. Click OK. It should bring you right back to ClickFunnels and give you a success message like it does. Facebook was successfully cre uh, created. Now, I've already done this before. This is the second integra integration I've got here of this one in particular. But the next step to actually connect the conversion API to your domain would be to go to domains. Click on that. Find a domain that you want to actually connect it to. Um, in this case, let me use uh, this. I think this one will work. Carrie recommends. Let me click on that because I don't think that's associated with much. 
we can mess around with it a bit. And then under there, we have this convert uh, Facebook conversion pixel. Now, it shouldn't say really conversion pixel. It should say conversion API to be more congruent so that it made more sense and you're not wondering what's going on. Expand that. It says no conversion pixel set for this domain. So we're going to click add. And then what we can do is we can connect our new Facebook Cappy integration or one of the previous ones we have. Let's use the new one. Then select whichever pixel we want. So it's going to bring all the pixels in with your integration. So you just find the one you want. So in this case, let's use the test pixel because that's the one I grabbed the token for. Then we're just going to paste in with control V or right click and paste and then click save and crossing my fingers okay your token appears valid for this pixel successfully added a facebook pixel now if we want to go to this particular funnel which i have to see which one it is i'm not sure which one we set this to i guess it's test so let me find that funnel okay it's right here at the top great and once we're in our test and we'd open up this opt-in page for instance, let's click on edit page. And then once we do that, let's click on, we're gonna click on settings, Facebook pixel. And then over here, it says now we've connected our integration with Facebook conversions pixel or API. It shows the pixel that's connected, which is great. And then we can select our Facebook event. In this case, since this is an opt-in page or landing page, we wanna select view content. Um, this would be the one that you would likely use for an entry point to your website, view content. Once it's selected and just click away, click save. And then I'm going to show you how to set up another event. So we're going to click exit here. And then let's say we wanted to track a lead with the conversion API. So we come to the thank you page, edit page. And then we would be on this page. We know that somebody that opted in had to land here. So we know that would be a lead. So we can go to the Facebook pixel conversions pixel again, still shows we're connected. Test pixel is selected. The event we want to select now would be lead. And then this would send information through the API back to Facebook. Would anyone landed on this page and record them as a lead? So that's how you integrate the conversion API from Facebook or meta to Click funnels, and I'm sure the process is very similar for any other page builders out there and or um, even with some plugins maybe that allow you to do this nowadays with um, WordPress or even Shopify or something along those lines. So there you have it. Any questions you may have, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them the best I can. And until next time, um, please, if you are watching this on um, YouTube, please hit the subscribe, notif um, subscribe button and hit the notification uh, bell and click like if you enjoyed this so that um, we can get more reach and get more views on these videos. And I appreciate that. So again, until next time, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow or Thursday for email marketing Thursdays. Take care.